to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command you today for your good. Well, here's a little something for you to take home from Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. If you have the kind of fear that brings you to your knees before God, there are always going to be two results from that kind of fear. Number one is this. You're going to recognize the link between fear and reverence and obedience and service and worship. All of these things are interconnected. Which leads me to observe that you cannot worship God and disobey Him at the same time. Sometimes we like to worship God on Sunday morning and disobey Him the rest of the week. The observation from Deuteronomy chapter 10 is that won't ever be allowed by God. Secondly, I observe this. You can claim the promises of God's Word. Promises to peace and happiness and promises to blessing from his hand. All the good things he has in store for you. You can claim all of those when you fear the Lord. So for him to say, I require this of you, is not for his benefit. It's for ours. He wants us to respect him because he has so much to give us. Fearing God by revering Him is the smart thing to do. No wonder the Bible so often says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. What does it require of us to fear Him?